Hey everybody, Claire here, and it is that time of year where hot cocoa is an absolute necessity, and nothing goes better in hot cocoa than a marshmallow, and I love marshmallows. I love making marshmallows because you can kind of go crazy with them, like you can kind of do whatever flavor you like. Today I'm doing super classic, so I am doing peppermint chocolate swirl marshmallows. So this is a very basic marshmallow recipe. You can totally adapt it and have fun with it yourself, but it is about two cups of white sugar, a half cup of corn syrup, one cup of hot water that I'm dividing, so that means a half cup and a half cup. I then have two egg whites that I have just beaten to be stiff, a small amount of crushed candy canes. I have a couple tablespoons of melted chocolate. I have, I think like a tablespoon of vanilla because I just love vanilla. And then about a teaspoon of peppermint extract. I then have three and a half packs of powder gelatin. And then I'm gonna do a big fat pinch of salt to kind of take the edge off all of the sugar. It's pretty simple. I'm basically gonna combine a bunch of the ingredients, turn them into a really hot syrup, whip that up until it's white and frothy. And then I'm gonna add the egg whites just to make them a little more tender and all the fabulous flavors. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is actually get the gelatin going. So next I'm gonna add about a half cup of the hot water over it and then stir it around and make sure it dissolves. So while the gelatin sets, I'm gonna get going on making my sugar syrup. So in goes the sugar, a pinch of salt, corn syrup, and then the last bit of the water. So my syrup is up to 240, so I'm gonna pour it right into the mixer over the gelatin. So now I'm gonna whip this until it gets really, really frothy and basically looks like marshmallow. And then at that point, I'm gonna start playing with my add-ins. Well, that looks marshmallowy for sure. So now I'm gonna start adding my flavors. So first goes in the peppermint, the vanilla. Next, I'm gonna add the egg white. I'm just gonna whip them until they come totally together. Very marshmallowy. I have a pan here, nine by 13, with parchment and then some powdered sugar on top. And the parchment, because it's parchment, is just on top of it. So basically the weight of the marshmallow is gonna cause it to go in. There we go. I'm just gonna kind of spoon it so it goes into every nook and cranny. And now for the fun part. So I have a little stick here. I mean, you can use forks, you could use toothpicks, any of that works. And I'm just gonna drizzle the chocolate over the top of it and then just marble it throughout. This only works if the marshmallows are fresh and completely liquid. If you wait a little too long and the marshmallows are set, you're not gonna get a marbling pattern. And so now I'm just gonna finish it by adding a little bit of crushed peppermint on top of it. And here's the thing, I don't wanna coat this entire thing in peppermint because then it covers the really beautiful marbling. So I'm just gonna do a really light sprinkling. So I'm gonna let this now set for minimum of two hours, but any, I mean, honestly, these are great overnight, and I'm gonna chop them up and put them into some hot chocolate. Mm. So the marshmallows are fully set. You can see, like, they're very, like, my hands can, like, bounce off of them. They're so set. So I have a knife that I'm coating in just some powdered sugar. The cornstarch and the powdered sugar basically means it's not gonna stick. So I'm gonna cut them into little cubes, I like the marshmallows, especially when they're homemade like this, to be on the larger side. And I have my hot cocoa ready to go. So I showed you how to make my hot cocoa mix in a previous video, so you can definitely check that out. I love it. This is actually a fantastic gift idea. If you give them like a thing of the hot cocoa mix and then like a baggie of homemade marshmallows, eh, it's so great. Who couldn't be happy getting one of those? All right, so I'm gonna pick a fat one. Let's see, okay, this one's like <laughs> gigantic, so. Mmm, so good. I love this. I mean, well, because also like, I mean, how it's marshmallows and hot chocolate. It's gonna be delicious. Anyway, this is so fun. I love how fat, fluffy, and just so good these marshmallows are. If you've never made marshmallows, just do it once. I know it sounds annoying and kind of like, okay, marshmallow, but seriously, like make your own marshmallows and they like win. They taste so much better than like the Jet Puff ones you get out of a bag. They taste awesome. And they're not expensive to make at home, but when you buy them, like fancy ones, they're so stupid expensive. So just make them yourself. They're really simple to do and you can do any flavor you like. So anyway, cheers, enjoy yourself a cup of hot cocoa and I'll see you guys next time, bye.